We're actually really close to it happening over in Prairieville, Arkansas. That is mm. where our Sheriff Lynn and Bill Stefan are. And uh, we're going to check in with them and just really see how things are going now. Again, this is a different look from Arkansas. As you can see, we're almost at peak coverage there. Yeah, Sarah, how are things going there? 1,400 miles per second per mile. You guys, this is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. I have never seen a total solar eclipse, but within the last hour, it's getting dark. You can see that. Okay. Uh, in addition to that, it, the temperature has dropped significantly, and we're about a hundred away very, very from totality. So we're going we're to keep watching. Yes. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's like you have a dark pair of sunglasses. And they were talking about potentially being able to see some, see some planets or see some stars. Oh, they're counting down. We're going to watch it. It's just There's a just little a sliver tiny right sliver now. Left. And basically a line at this point. I think we're going to start to see some stars come out soon. We have clear enough skies. There are some clouds off in the distance uh, that we knew were going to be the forecast and help and help all these clouds that look like the waves that we've been seeing. But we're pretty much good here, so let's take a look. The moon is closer than it usually is to the Earth, and that's what makes this eclipse so spectacular. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you travel all these miles. Around. All right, one, one more part. He's counting down now. I don't know if you can hear. Um, Just a little sliver. Dave is, is narrating what's happening here. Such a strange thing. It is so much darker out here, so much cooler. Just crazy to see. The birds have stopped. We're all on the edge of our seat. It is silent. There's probably a hundred or more people here just waiting for that last moment. You may hear some cheers. Surface is now clear. Oh, just a little dot Watch now. We're so close. You may see it just before it goes. And here comes the corona. And then when we finally do hit totality, we can take off our glasses and look, which will be so strange to stare yeah. directly up at the sun, but it's really not as bright. So it'll be okay. Just a little dot left. It looks like a yellow star it in the sky. It looks like a yellow star in the sky right yeah. now. Wow. There it goes. There it goes. That wow. is the coolest thing ever. Wow, wow, wow. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at the look at the star. There's Venus yeah, right next to the sun. Yeah, you can see Venus up there. Other stars. I could cry. Look at this. Look at the difference. Look at out this here. This is crazy. This is this, uh, just that last couple percent oh, made that big a difference. Goodness. It's nighttime here. I, I the stars cry. are out and the sun is up here. It's incredible. Uh, this is amazing. It feels Venus. like Jupiter is like off nighttime. to the west. Look at there's there's another star. Which one is that one? That that could be Saturn right there. I don't know, Bill. You have to tell me. This You're is the incredible. Here. Look at this. We get four and a half minutes of this. Yeah, that, four and a half minutes is longer than 2017, yeah. correct? And look, look at how the how the clouds have all changed here too. Mm -hmm. It is dark. Yeah. I'm sure I mean, our shot looks so much different than it even did 20 minutes ago. That's how much darker it is right now out here. So much cooler too. We talked about that temperature drop. Sarah, oh, man, is this a sight Why don't you and Bill just describe what it's like to see this? Just make a point of getting to one of these. Next one is in 2044 in Montana. Yeah, Blake was just asking us what. Yeah. How would you describe what we're experiencing right now? Uh, this is even better than the one that was in 2017 in Tennessee. Better. Basically, yeah. all you see is the corona, a little bit of sun shining around yeah. that moon, and then it's pitch black out here. It yeah. looks like a star in the sky. Yeah. There are some stars and some planets in the sky. It is just yeah. amazing to I, see. It, this is the, the four minutes in your life where you will see Venus next to the sun. The fastest four minutes in our life, I've been yeah. told, too. And it already is going by quickly. We're can, starting to see. You can see the see. corona all the way around the sun. Wow. A very cool sight to see. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this absolutely incredible? It is incredible out there. There's there's a little red spot uh, mm -hmm. just on the bottom side of the sun. That's a solar prominence of it. Yeah. Yeah, see the corona from the sun yeah. extends out. Uh, it, it's it's kind of like the slight risk area in a we're coming out from an enhanced <laughs> risk kind of severe weather. It kind thing. of does look that way. Yeah. We probably have about two minutes left. I'd say we have oh, about two minutes of totality left, incredible. soaking it in right now. It is incredible. I didn't know what to expect, but this is absolutely amazing. I, I, I would say it's the equivalent of being about 30 or 40 minutes after sunset. Yeah. That's about what you would see. You see the stars starting to come out. It's not pitch black, but you definitely need your headlights on when you were traveling. Can you imagine in the old days how people used to freak when this happened?
I don't know if words can do that justice. That just experiencing was that. bizarre to see because I, Sarah and Bill were both saying, you know, it's getting a little darker out, but <laughs> from our end, it didn't really look a whole lot darker until it actually, the moon went in yeah. front of the sun and then the whole tint of everything just sort of changed. I mean, that was, yeah, I didn't know what to expect. We've been talking about it nonstop <laughs> for about a month now yeah. and I, I honestly could not have expected anything like that. That was incredible.